Well, that was lovely timing. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it has been a while since I've managed to have time to record um, pretty much any kind of content. And I am sorry for that, it's just I've been dealing with the death of my family, um, my depression, uh, a whole bunch, of, it's just excuses. Anyway, let me get back to the video. When I did a charity stream a couple of weeks ago, this lovely fella, this wonderful Colossus, uh, this is something I, I 3D print. One of my donators wanted a huge Colossus burst. This is said Colossus burst. And then I realized I don't have the required uh, paints to paint him to the skills that I want. And I did ask him person who, who 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 donated a uh, crypto uh, how does he want him painted does he want him painted him up bronze so it looks like a bronze statuette or, or whatever and he said he would like him painted up as if he's like from the comics so I'm like great so I need lots of silvers problem is I didn't have enough silvers until today when I was watching one of my other favorite painters um, Torvo Miniatures, he did a video about uh, Necrons, and I have recently been playing Mechanicus, where you are the Adaptus Mechanicus and you're taking on a uh, Necron Tomb World. And when I was watching this video, he mentioned this. This is the um, uh, the uh, aluminum on aluminium. Uh, dope airbrush set uh, from Vallejo and in it it covers literally every form there is you've got uh, aluminum you got it in matte semi matte chrome uh, uh, this is everything I'm going to need to paint Colossus in a, a way that I think is going to make my customer happy so I'm actually gonna quickly open this is the first time I'm opening it up. So we're gonna open it up. That's the back card with some minor instructions. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting, interesting. Jet exhaust engine. Oh they do have other paint sets. Oh that is awesome. I can actually use this to paint some of my um, um planes and stuff that I've got. If you don't know, I, I do paint regular, you know, planes and aircrafts and whatnot. Um, so this is actually a really good thing. Plus, it's all, all for airbrushes. I do need to get a new airbrush gun. Um, the one I've got now is fine, but it's always good to have an extra. And um, so I'm going to keep this little container because it's always good to put them in the container so you know exactly what they are. And um, that's white aluminum, chrome. Oh, they do. They do have mixing balls and balls in them, so I won't need to use those. Excellent. Always have a little extra set of mixing balls. Uh, and that one is semi matte aluminum, and this one is dull aluminum. Okay. So I'm going to have to get the palette out and check the, their individual separate colors, but I do now have the paints to start painting this beautiful Colossus burst. Um, I've also been doing a little bit of work on the Erwin Rommel burst. Um, sorry about the bright lights. In fact, I'll put it underneath the closed cam here. Um, been working on the Erwin Rommel burst. Again, once this is finished and, and, and varnished and whatnot, this will be going up on uh, eBay. And um, if anyone buys it, you know the money will be donated to helping little Amber. Now. That aside, let, let's put these paints back in where it's at. While I was looking at buying new paints to, to make sure, I mean, I, I'm going to be using these for more than just the Colossus, so it's not a waste of, a waste of money. So that's how I'm seeing it. Is it's not a waste of money at all. Um, this is going to be something I'm definitely going to be um, using a lot. I I decided to 
look at getting a um, voltage reducer slash uh, transformer for my uh, plug-in Dremel um, because my plug-in Dremel goes from off to insane it the the, the RPM selector on it does not work um, and so when I'm using it to like clean up 3d prints or uh, okay some point painting you know wings and stuff for, for demons and, and whatnot it literally goes just balls to the wall non-stop doesn't stop and I'm afraid I'm gonna stab myself or do some damage so I decided to look up uh, for a battery operated Dremel and um, well nothing was coming up that, that I liked the look of it either came up when it was like too 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 expensive or uh, too much money not enough bang or too much bang but the reviews say it died after a week so I was like hey no thanks so I finally hopped on Amazon late I think it's yeah Wednesday Wednesday or Thursday and I found this now again this is still sealed I've not opened this I'm opening up now and what I'm gonna do is as you guys know um, <laughs> I uh, in, I've been using these trusty little clippers for pretty much everything and because of that the tips you know are, are becoming dull and, and dents and dings and whatnot and I've only been using the one file and, and, and so people were like dude you just need to get some more tools and I, I reluctantly hum and hard and finally gave in and said you know what you're right eh voila so here we've got a multi-sided sponge for modeling pot so so long story short once I've done finishing putting in some uh, uh, party and stuff it I can use this and it will mold to the contours of the model and only sand away the excess putty and not the model which is what you want um, and then it came with a pair of new clippers these are, yeah, these are them and it came with a pair of new uh, mm, nice spring loaded clippers let's check Ooh, I like that it's a solid oh yeah oh yeah they're gonna be a nice set of clippers there so and then it comes with a Stanley blade nice looking nice and sharp even with a blade protector on it that's actually pretty good um, I know some kits um, from a certain country um, don't come with a blade protector but this one does brand new sharp blade no pressure yeah nicely done so that's definitely one to so I can actually retire old foldy you can be retired now too and then it came with a scraper of some kind called 9C uh, okay so we've got a little scraper sandy blade clippers extra blades that's good uh, tweezers so we've got uh, standard point a uh, sharp point tweezers all right nice and then we got standard hook tweezers that's great I can join my other tweezers that I've got because I've got tons of these little tweezers for putting on decals and stuff like that and whatnot uh, then it comes with some metallic files these look like really horrible are gonna get clogged up in five seconds kind of metal files but these are great because I can still use those for getting in the tight spots and whatnot and some a lot more stand, sanding sponges so that's all good ah, let's see oh, metallic ruler does 15 centimeters okay so that's cool that's great that's not too bad I can actually use that to hold on to a miniature as I'm airbrushing them and whatnot that's probably kind of cool all right, so let's put those back in there let's go there aha this is the electric Dremel yes I think it is please don't let it be a ladies massager 
velvet box. I mean, I mean, a nice little dice bag. Aha! Uh -huh. Nail decorator. Okay. Okay, so it needs double A's or triple A's. It's just a straight up, no talk, no fuss, no muss kind of thing. I've got some triple, ah, triple A's. There we go. I was going to say I've got some triple A's right here. Real quick. Okay. No, it definitely closes a specific way. Alright, so I'm doing it wrong. Like so. Huh. Am I doing it wrong? I can't be doing it wrong. Definitely goes in like that. Huh. Yeah, it must be double A's then, not triple A's. Hmm. That was weird. There was an O ring in there somewhere. Hmm. Well, that's that. And then. Ah! Little drill bits. Ah. And a. Horrible paper. Uh, congratulations to you by n to you to you to buy the new sander. Now you can enjoy professional manicure, and you can manicure in your own home. That's all it says. Uh, lightly insert axis of head part in hole. Yeah, it's just horrible Chinglish. Your sander is equipped with fine made fingernail head. It can fast, safely shape and polish your fingernail. Um, uh, yeah, cool. Whatevs. Uh, yeah, we've got a couple of little short stones. Um, I'm pretty sure they're standard diameter, which means if they're standard diameter, it means that um, my uh, Dremel bits will fit. Uh, and if not, that's fine. We can make do. Mm. Yeah, it must be a double A. Do I have any double A's? I don't think I do. Yes, double A's. I can hear them right then. So yeah, so it's double A's that's needed. Ah, right, fair enough. Totally unprofessional, Mal. Totally unprofessional. What'd you expect? It's a YouTube channel. And uh, a nice little box to keep it all in that you're never going to use and you'll probably lose it after about five minutes. But, you know, hey. Uh, here's where it is, right, guy? Okay. Yeah. Huh. Could I USB power this? Let's see. Five volt versus. Dang it! <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Uh, five volts. These guys should be what? Bloody Nora! Could you make the language and the, the, the text any feckin' smaller? Need a, I'm wearing glasses and I'm having to use a magnifying glass. Like, could you make them any more fucking smaller? Sorry about that, it's a little USB powered fan I've got. Uh, this is 1.2 volts, so two of those would be 2.4, 2.4. Eight hundred fifty milliamp hours. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You could you could USB this. So I think that's what I might do actually. I think I might actually. Um, oh, the irony! Tap into the back there, feed a wire up and through, and uh, solder it directly.
Yeah, because you can see where they've tried to glue it. There and there. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So yeah, and then that way I could just USB plug it in and then just use it whenever and have it as USB powered. That's not a bad idea. I think I might do that. One moment, please. As my favourite YouTuber who builds stuff says, yeah, Clive.com. Check him out, good YouTuber. Uh, I will see if I've got a spare USB cable and see if this will work. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Now, I just had to do a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> to to get where we're at, guys. Now, I was thinking about turning this into like a little one-day build kind of video, and it's just turned into a huge huge um, <laughs> a huge mess um, <laughs> long story short I couldn't find the right drill bit so I ended up finding one but it's a masonry bit and so it walked on me a little bit because that's what masonry bits do so let me put it back in its masonry bit holder there we go. That's that done. And uh, now we've got a successful, and I've got a really nice long USB cable that I'm not using anymore. And um, what I was going to do is like do a proper nice little professional job and get some of my shrink tubing and put it on the end so it just like, hugs the cable and it looks like all fucking professional and shit. And I thought to myself, no, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to feed it through, and I, I have fed it fed it through earlier just to test. Okay, so now it's through, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a loop in it. This is a stress loop, so that if the cable ever gets caught, it's not going to cause any damage to the. There we go. So I'm going to feed that through. Right to the end. Tuck, tuck, tuck. Oh, sorry. Tuck, 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 tuck. That's see, it's fed all the way through. Actually, we can angle this up a little bit. So yes, it's fed all the way through. Sorry about the mess behind me. So we've got a nice little good three foot length a USB cable here, and we've got a little bit of. Oh wow, that's that's a lot extra. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna move that not a little bit further up. So we want a little bit of slack, but not much. No, still a little bit too much. Because this has got to go into the body. All because I don't have double A batteries. I figured what the hell turn this into a pseudo one day build. Uh, so actually I can take this and put all the, the stuff that I'm going to use and need and whatnot out of this toolbox ironically. And then put this toolbox off the bench to save up some space. I will just put that on the bed for now. It's my Dremel bits I thought I was going to use but I didn't. So now we can slide this all the way down. There we go. It's a little bit, a lot more slack than I'll, I'd be want, but it'd be good enough to work on. Now, this is a USB fat powered uh, uh, fan. It's an old spare NZXT fan that I had. And um, now the tip, this isn't even even on, so I can actually unscrew this like so. Take that out so I can take the tip off. Oh, look at that leftover carbon all right so 
gonna need. I don't need a chisel tip. What tip is that? That's a fat point. I don't need a fine point. I will go with a cleaner chisel tip. Than what I've got. It's always good to have to, to, to use, you know, you like your cleaner tips and stuff, guys. That's what they're for. And if you can shake out the excess carbon okay and it's one thing people don't do when it comes to like their soldering irons is they don't clean them guys you've got to clean your irons man clean your irons clean them my dudes clean them okay Okay, so that's three, so I'll set it to four. Put it in there. Turn that on. Yeah, we've got a little light going. I don't like using this stuff, this weak stuff. I like using the proper stuff. Of course, I've got a fan blowing air out all out of the way so in essence it's a fume extractor fan which is what I want in fact I actually used ironically this soldering iron to make this uh, so what I'm gonna do because I've got excess cable yeah I can see the smoke coming off now so I'm gonna run it like that going to be the positive and that's the negative. So let's go to our USB cable. All we need is the black and the red. We don't need the green and the white which is data cable. Data positive, data negative. Don't need those. And we're going to use our new clippers to test it. Bing, beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to grab our new scalpel. sharp blade so you always want to be smart guys you do not want to cut yourself believe it or not a blunt cut actually is the worst if you've got a sharp cut it's easier to heal from you heal quicker from it um, but a blunt one oh, hurts like the dickens all right so this is the clippers I got from my electrics kit electronics kit so actually <coughs> bless me Sneezing. Right, so we've got our positive and our negative. Okay, let's go to our strippers. No, not those kind of strippers. Sorry, lads. I'm not a big fan of these automatic stripper pillars here, yeah, see, because the teeth don't grip for shit. These are points. Uh, no, they are point seven five. I was right. Ha, 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 ha. First time in my life I was actually right. There we go. Give it a quick swizzle. Right, so. And what I'm going to do this is where I wish I had some helping hands, but I don't because I'm a moron and I didn't buy any. Tommy Coop used to say, <laughs> just like that. We've got one end tinned. And yes, I did just touch it like a moron. <laughs> oh. Hello, darling. Do you want to say hello to you? Do you want to say hello to YouTube? What? I'm recording a video. Oh, hi. <laughs> 
Yeah, you're fine. I'll call you back, sorry. sorry. No, 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 you're fine. It's all good. It can stay in. It'll be a blooper. It can stay in. What's up, darling? Okay. Nothing. I'm just shopping. I just wanted to call. Uh-huh. I know I said I was going to call earlier, so. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to finish. Yeah, I'm completely embarrassed now. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna let you go do your thing. It's alright, darling. No, no, seriously, it's fine. You can stay in. I'm literally doing like a one day build style video. I, um. Oh, good lord. Okay. Yeah, it's loud. I got a, um, little nail Dremel, battery powered Dremel tool thingy. Uh huh. And. It uses some obscure size battery. It's not double A, it's not triple A, it's like something in between. And I don't have it, but I realized it uses this damn near the same voltage as a uh, USB cable. So I'm literally converting an old USB data cable into a power source for it. And this is why I love you. <laughs> I'm thinking, what the hey, might as well. What's the worst that's going to happen? It don't work. You know? Yeah, it's not like you're going to electrocute yourself. Yeah, well, technically I could, because I am plugging the USB cable into a high voltage hub. But, you know, hey, for science, bitch! You know, so. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'm going to go. There we go. Alright. Alright, so you good? Yeah, yeah, I will call you though when I get home after I get everything. Alright, done. Yeah. Because I need to talk, so. Winner, winner. We got a buzz buzz. Yep. Winner, winner. Ha <laughs> ha! So, it's gonna work. I just. I just missed your voice. Well. You know, you're gonna hear you're gonna hear yourself and my voice in this YouTube video, so <laughs> <laughs> Well that's what I watch to help myself sleep, so Well, you're gonna get to hear yourself and you'll be like, Oh my god, I sound like that and you'll be like, Yep, you sound like right. that. It's all good, baby. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna be like, Oh, I don't wanna talk anymore. Yuck. Yuck. Ew. I sound like ass. I'm <laughs> um, like, hello, Karen. What's your name? You. <laughs> you want to know how I got these scars, Karen? No. Alright, well, I got one that needs to use the restroom, so I gotta go. Alright, darling. So. You help him tinkle. Alright, I will call you later when I get home. I love uh, you. I love you too, sweetie. Bye. <laughs> okay, let's get back to the video. Um, as you could t hear, we did successfully test it, and it did zim zim. It did uh, zim zim and zim zim. So what I'm going to do now is uh, do I? Hmm. Yeah. So I've got to be. So it has to shift because the way this this is going to twist on it's like a safety feature right so I have scored um, in there on the inside so what I'm gonna do is figure out how I'm gonna get this to work properly but I'll, I'll figure it out I'll figure it out what I do? Alright, so solder does stick to it. Briefly, but solder does stick to it. That's good. Because now that means I can stick the positive lead. To our project. Again, this is just a proof of concept, guys. I'm working the problem, you know? Right. Oh, and of course, it just broke because it's a cold cell. So I've got to figure out a way of 
really scuffing it up so the solder will stick. I had a little scouring pad, which I don't have. Hmm. The irony. One second, guys. Yes, technically, I am trying to use a drill, a drill to do a Dremel's job. Don't ask. <laughs> like I said, don't ask. Just, just don't ask. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I'm using this stone to tear up and mark up the steel so I can get the solder to stick. Starting to stick easier now. There's probably so many electronics guys that are watching this going, dude, what the hell are you doing? Not how you do it. Yeah, I know, guys. I know. But, you know. A tips clock. So, hopefully this works. <laughs> if not, I am blaming all the things I've never learned properly in school. So then the negative's not on. <laughs> okay, I've got I've got to think. Give me a few minutes, guys. Got to think. Just realised. Oh, that would have been. I mean.
Ooh. I think I just melted the. Yeah, I think I just melted the motor. That's not good. It acts like a huge fucking heat sink. Hope you're enjoying this ride with me on how to not build stuff. <laughs> I had the best of intentions. I really did. You can ask my daddy. I had the best of intentions. gonna have to move this. Tension not up some. There we go. That's mostly just so I could close it. switch. Okay, 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 okay. Sorry, Adam Savage, but uh, this was my one day, my one day tits up build. There we go. Now, I'm going to turn the soldering iron off, let it cool down. I think I fried the motor, not getting a whiz. 
Oh well. I guess I could put it in a rocket USB battery bank and figure out what's going wrong there. Now my luck, as I twisted it, it probably said nope and came loose. Oh, the switch is buggered. It's just a momentary press switch though. It should have given me something. But it didn't. Oh. <laughs> Come on, you get. Oh, you're in there good, aren't you? There we go. I'm going to have to work on that. Um, positive is definitely attached. Negative might be the one that needs the attention. Unstoppable. Um, Alright. Yeah, and the negative is quite loose. I'll tell you one thing, this new little toolkit I just got is coming in bloody clutch. So we know that it did work. I think it's this little momentary switch. That's what I think. Because I can feel it pushing back on me. Which is buggered. So somehow we've got to come up with a new switch. Hmm. This is a conundrum. This is definitely a conundrum. So the switch is definitely barneyed. I don't think I can. Definitely barneyed. Mm. What I could do is get like a momentary switch and put that. So if I was gonna, why did you slide all the way down there? Okay, no gun, no. Have a word. Right. So if I was gonna, oh, okay. So the positive came out, so that's fine. So if I was gonna do that, yeah, I could put a momentary switch. Where would I put you though? If I was, where would I? Put I mean, there's a really good placement because you've got your in like that. You might even be able to put a little LED in there too. That way you can see what you're doing. switch 
but we're on to something we are on to something so I might rapid prototype this in like CAD or something and um, get me some bits and pieces of DigiKey or something and actually make this properly so there you go guys that's my one day fail it is what it is I'm going to clean up this mess and uh, <laughs> I'll see you in the next video guys so yeah it was a fail oh well